Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Spider, and welcome back to another review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers 2007 Movie Deluxe Scorbunok. Now, before we get into the review itself, this is usually where I would take the time to look at the packaging, but I don't have it anymore, so instead, it's a rebuttal. Alright, now, on to Scorbunok himself. Egg keeps falling over. And this annoys me. Okay. So. Here is Scorfanok. He's here. We're going to review him. I don't know. I'm tired. My brain's not thinking at words. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at his articulation. Okay. So. Here. The, let's move his tail out of the way. Here's his head. You can move that. Whoops. You can't see that. You can move that. And right in there, so that I can allow him to look that far up, and look that far down. In fact, he can look all the way down. And because of that, when you position his head, you can position it if you want. You can make him Mr. Flat Face. Can't really see because the arms in the way. Mr. Flat Face. Or you can just have him sticking out all the way. I typically have him somewhere in the middle. That's kind of where I have to leave him. Now, onto his crab um, cannon things. Um, he has a pretty, oh goodness, pretty tight rotation at the, uh, I suppose, the shoulder? The shoulder joint, I guess? His claw? I don't know. Um, also can point outward. Or I guess that that's point forward. That would be outward. It's whatever. You point that far outward. Is is bicep claw rotation? So you can rotate all the way around. He's just good, good. And he can also bend at the elbow. Doesn't bend in any further than that. And then the legs, I'm taking a look at the side because it's just kind of easier to look at one. And yes, I am missing a few of his legs, but they're still there. So they're all on ball joints. Kind of limited, but you can still get some up and down and side to side out of them. Now, onto the tail. The rotation. Here at the base of the tail. The bend here, here, and here. So it allows them to point like that. And there's also another rotation at the tip of the tail. You can rotate it like that. And that's pretty much it for our articulation for our scorpion transforming fellow and considering you know he is a sorry my brain blanked he is a um, beast mode type transformer you know he's got some pretty good articulation out of him I mean they could have just made him a brick like most beast animal transforming transformers are but no they actually gave him some pretty decent joints and stuff which is really cool now on to details so as we can see here on the face got nice four red eyes paint's kind of scraping off them but hey what are you gonna do uh Bronze, bron bronzish gold color. Got the little cars or things. And uh, he's a bit damaged. You see that it's supposed to be there. And that tooth claw thing is supposed to be there. It's not a claw, it's a tooth. What am I saying? Yeah. Can't think. Yeah. 
It's kind of weird that they broke both broke off on the same side, though. Hmm. It's weird. It also has some decals on them. It's got a few decals all over the thing. As you can see, this one says caution, fuel, explosive. Hmm. Here's another one on his arm or claw on both sides. It says, I think he used to say keep away. Some of the some of the decals got kind of scraped up, and so it's a bit hard to read, but they are still there. So yeah, I think it's supposed to say, or used to say, keep away. And the other side, I think it used to say danger. I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a danger. And here, I have a nice Septica. Decepticon. Wow, my brain is really not working today. A Decepticon insignia right there. Another decal says no step. Which I'm not entirely sure what that means. I think it's supposed to be like a joke because he's like a he's a giant bug and you typically step on bugs. So it's like no step because he could step on you. Because he's so giant. I, I don't I don't know. I think that's supposed to be the joke. I think. I don't know. And there's another one over here. Just says rescue. And another. Just some random numbers. 036. 0360. I don't know if they mean anything. Or they're just numbers they put on him. You get some claws here. You get like some, what looks like like termites or something in the inner of the claw. Got some pretty nice detail here. Yeah, the little two claws on the little leg. Got some some treads here. Those are for the gimmick of the figure, which I will cover in a short, short bit. And you have the tail. Actually, kind of look. I really like the look of the tail. The little patterns they put on it. Looks pretty cool. Let's dip the tail. You got some two little. Looks like kind of like red eyes or something. Uh, and you got the stinger. It's actually a pretty cool looking stinger. What to say? Underneath it's pretty plain and simple. Like the little tubes with like the lay. Or two leg things with the legs would come out. It's kind of cool they did that. You stay. Yeah, some of the legs got pretty loose over time, so this one likes to just fold, fall over. Doesn't like to stay in place. More again a little bit. So yeah, um, now this figure actually has two gimmicks, uh, one of which sadly broke, and uh, I guess we can cover that one first, because it doesn't work anyways. Um, well, it, it partly works. Uh, basically, what it is, is, as I mentioned, there are, there are treads here, and... The reason those are there is because there are 
mechanisms inside of him where when these spin, this spins, and then that makes these spin. So, you're supposed to be able to, like, run them across like a flat surface, and as you do, the claws were supposed to spin as you rode them across. But unfortunately, uh, my camera's freaking out. Unfortunately, the mechanism kind of broke. Um, which is kind of to be expected with this type of thing, like it's running through articulated joints. Except for the fact that it didn't break in the arms, it broke here. Like, this is supposed to rotate that, but it doesn't. But this still rotates these, so if you just rotate that part itself, it still rotates the arms. So I don't know... Like, you think if it were to break anywhere, it would break in the articulated joints. But instead it broke here, for some reason. I don't know why, that's quite bizarre, actually. So, uh, yeah. And then the other gimmick is the tail. Well, I guess it's kind of a gimmick. Um, basically you pull it back, clicks in place, and then you just push on this, and the, and the stinger springs out. Fortunately, it got kind of tight. It doesn't, it's not as sensitive as it used to be. So, I feel, uh, I find it's easier to just stick your nail under this part and just lift it up and, crah! Just shoots out, ooh, just shoots out the stinger. So, yeah. Now, while I'm usually not the biggest fan of figures with, like, gimmicks in them, I actually really like this figure's gimmicks because they don't really get in the way. You know, most figures, most, like, toy gimmicks are, like, big, obnoxious things that, like, get in the way of, like, the figure actually functioning. But this one doesn't. These types don't. They're just kind of cool. They're meant to enhance the figure, you know, play factor instead of just being the gimmick is the only play factor, you know? So, I like, the way that they did that with this guy. So, he's, uh... He's pretty cool. Now, on to size comparisons. Here he is with a Lego minifigure. Actually, before I take it away, I think that's... I think that's pretty much the scale of how big a human is supposed to be to this thing. I think. From what I can remember. Um, here it is with a Pack of Destruction minifigure Mothra. I almost forgot what it was called. Say it in every single one of my videos and almost forgot it. Jeez. Um, beginning it again. Jeez. Pack of Destruction <laughs> minifigure Godzilla is the same thing. Uh, oof, man. My brain is really. Uh, I'm really tired today. Alright. Here it is now with the. With the well, with its wave mates. It's Windu. Guts and kickstand wasn't wanted to work. Yeah, I see. We have fellow Decepticon barricade. I know Swindle was also Decepticon, but they were both on screen. Well, they weren't on screen together, but they were both in the movie. And then finally. So yeah. Now I'll just raise up the camera a little bit here. Measuring time. So uh height wise like an inch high. <laughs> uh but length 
we just go by the head. Uh, ooh. Yeah, he's pretty long. About nine and a half inches. So, uh, he's a pretty big scorpion. Yeah, he's pretty big. Now, last but of course not least, his transformation. Yeah. Some of you may be wondering, wait a minute, Scorpion, Scorpion, Scorponok didn't transform in the movie. Oh, oh but watch this. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's a robot. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty obvious that this was a uh, kind of a last minute thing, or maybe not a last minute thing, but just like a. They didn't know what to do, so they're just like, I eh, just fold down the sides of his body and it's, those are legs and a robot. <laughs> I mean, I kind of get it because it's a it's a transformer toy, so it's supposed to transform into something, but he never really did. So I guess like to have like they didn't want to be false advertising, so they they just made this thing, <laughs> and uh, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Now, I also tend to uh, fold up the legs like that. I don't know if the instructions say to do that, because I lost mine a while ago. So I don't remember if they say to do that. But I like to do that, because I think it looks a little better. But it doesn't matter anyways, because the robot mode is ridiculous. So I just keep him in scorpion mode, because he looks so, so much better. So let's get him back in there. Let's get him back. Back in the mode he belongs in. A good old scorpion mode. Also, if you're expecting me to do a SAS comparison with all the other figures again, it's like... It's just the scorpion mode, but up. <laughs> I'm not gonna transform all those dudes and film all that just for that. So, no. No robot size comparison, because it's, it's not worth it. No, actually, I kind of want to do the thing. I've done this with, like, kind of all the other videos I've done so far. I'm going to get them all in the same... Uh, same thing. Does this work? You can kind of get RC in there, like that. Yeah, that kind of works. Uh, there, they're all together. This doesn't look as good as I thought it would. I'm going to get them out of here. There. Back to Scorponok. So yeah, that's my review of Scorponok. And he's pretty cool. You know, he's a, he's a pretty cool little dude for, for an older figure. Yeah, and this thing came out back in 2007. It's pretty good. It's a pretty dang good Scorponok, I would say. Oh, I almost forgot. One extra thing. Uh, his claws can fold up. Like so. So you can do that. I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I guess there was one shot where, like, he, like, I think he, like, shot, like, a a beam, not a beam, he shot like a missile out of his claw, so I guess this is like the missering, mi missering? Oh man, I can't speak today, his missling, firing look, I guess is what that's supposed to be, I don't know, I used to just leave it like that, alright, but yeah, uh, pretty cool and yeah it is unfortunate that the um the main gimmick of him broke that you're not supposed to have his claws move when you do that but it did and actually lasted for a really long time like it 
only broke, like, I think, like, last year. And considering this thing came out in, like, 2007, like, how long would that be? I don't know. Man, my brain's not working. I'm gonna just screw it. We got a calculator and do this. So, last year, which is 2021, minus 2007, is 14. So, yeah, it lasted a good 14 years. So, I think that, that that's pretty good. You know, that it lasted for that long. And I got a lot of play of this thing when I was a kid. So, the fact that it lasted all that time and only broke just recently. I think that's pretty good. They built they built this dude to last, you know. So yeah, he's definitely a really cool, really fun figure. And uh, if you're a Scorponok fan, well, the, this particular version of him, because pretty sure he's very different from the uh, original Scorponok. Um, pick him up because he's cool. So yeah. Uh, well, if you can find him, because, you know, it's a really old figure, but you know what I mean. But anyways, I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything. I measured him. Size and prayers did him. And did all the other stuff. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Sayonara. Bye.